Oakland University. My name is Caitlin Massey and welcome to a brand new OU TV show called Out and About where we take a look at some of the fun student activities that happened last month. On today's show we're going to check out the Grizz Skate Jam, the Muggle Quidditch League's Goblet of Fire Tournament and the first ever WXOU record swap and a few other favorites from last month. Stay tuned! <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. First up on our list today is the annual Grizz Skate Jam put on by OU's very own Skateboard Club. The event invited avid skateboarders to the new parking garage across from the Engineering Center to listen to some sweet jams and get in a good day of skateboarding. Let's check it out. What's up guys, this is Anthony Spack with OU TV, hanging out at the third annual Grizz Skate Jam. Got some skaters skating, some bands playing music, and some companies passing out merch. Let's go check it out. We're hanging out with Chris, the president of the OU Skateboard Club. Chris, tell me a little bit about the event. I know you've been doing it for a few years. How do you put something like this together from start to finish? Uh, lots of planning and uh, getting ahead. Uh, it took about three three months, I would say, to get it all situated and then stressed the last month. Right on. Uh, so this is the third year that you've done this, correct? Correct. Um, last year we weren't able to do it, but uh, yeah, third year. Uh, it's an annual event at Oakland University and brings out a lot of skateboarders throughout Michigan and the public. Right on. What's the best part of putting on an event like this? Why do you, why do you keep doing it year after year? I do it year after year because I like to see the smiles on everybody's faces and it gets all the skaters together. I, I, that's just one important thing is getting all the skateboarding together and just seeing the smiles on people's faces at the end. Uh, we actually uh, travel the U.S. with the Collegiate Skateboard Tour and we'll go to the, uh, like New York, Florida, California, and now we're going to Oregon and uh, we'll take the skateboard gu uh, guys out there. Even, you know, freshmen that are skateboarders, they don't even know we have a skateboard team. We'll take them out to, you know, New York. It's an experience for them. Uh, well, Collegiate Skate Tour is um, a national contest series for college skateboarding. So I had a skate club at NC State University where I went to school. And uh, we met other people with other clubs, started Collegiate Skate Tour, which is us traveling around facilitating contests for skate clubs and college skateboarders all over the country. And, uh, and we're encouraging higher education for skateboarding youth through that. My favorite part about doing events is influencing that one kid that all he needed was one phenomenal day in his life with skateboarding and he's hooked for the rest of his life. When you see kids come out here it also uh, brings the parents out and the parents see that it's a positive thing for the kids and you know they go hey you know I'm gonna go out to my local shop and go buy a local skateboard and that's what it's all about these are all local shops and that's what it's about is you know interacting the local shops with the kids and the parents and the parents see that and it's, it's awesome, positive and awesome. Well that wraps it up for us here at the third annual Grizz Skate Jam event. Good to see all the skaters out here on campus representing the community. Big thanks to all the skaters, all the companies, and the OU Skateboard Club for putting it on. We'll see you next year for the fourth. What a cool event. For all you skateboarders that missed the party this year, you can check in with the Skateboard Club on Facebook for their next event. Next up on the docket is OU's Muggle Quidditch Team's Goblet of Fire Tournament. The event invited OU students to compete for a chance to be crowned as the Tri-Wizard Champion of Oakland University in our very own version of the famous Harry Potter Tournament. Let's take a look.
Right now we are outside out by Bear Lake in the OC. We're having a Goblet of Fire tournament. We've divided all the teams up and right now we're on the second task. We're doing a really huge scavenger hunt around Bear Lake to try to find as many items as they can. So first we had a spell naming contest. Now we're having a scavenger hunt around Bear Lake. And afterwards we're going to have a relay race around Bear Lake doing several different athletic tasks to be crowned the Triwizard Champions. And after that, we're going to have our movie night indoors and have lots of snacks and everything for them to just chill out after running around all evening. Um, I know we are facing a bit of rain. We wanted to have an outdoor movie night, but you know, you have to improvise when the weather's not perfect. I was thinking, well, if we need an activity to do, we should start with the fourth book and movie of Harry Potter. It's basically a big game. So we tried to make a mock tournament kind of playing off of the movie. Besides this, we are going to have a few tournaments out of state, hopefully. But our big event in the fall is usually the Yule Ball, which is scheduled for the 7th of November. For more information on the OU Quidditch Club, you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter at OU Quidditch. We have practices every Friday from 4.30 to 6.30 on the upper fields. See you there! For all you muggles out there wanting to get involved in the Muggle Quidditch League, you can check out their Facebook page for more information. Before we go on, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go away because we still have more to show you. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. <gasps> Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Welcome back to Out and About. I'm your host, Caitlin Massey. Next, we're going to check out a brand new event, the WXOU Record Swap. Want to get your hands on some new records? Take a look at what went on with WXOU's Welcome Week event. Today it's our record swap, so people can bring a record, take a record, kind of like take a penny, leave a penny. You come here and then you have a record with you or a few records with you, 
and then maybe the records that you don't totally cherish, um, you know, to your heart. You're not going to take those to the grave. And uh, you can switch those out for other records that we have just lying around, um, and even records other people have swapped out. So somebody else's trash can be your treasure and vice versa. People are winning like concert tickets or prize packs with records, and everybody's liking just being able to sift through just so many records. We have tables full. We have eight tables here, and about six of them are being used for uh, records. You can get a free t-shirt, we got free food, and then there's great, great DJ sets here from DJs that are past and present um, WXU DJs. We hope that after this event, we have zero vinyl left over. Like, we're hoping that everybody goes home with something. Because although there is a take a penny, leave a penny idea, if you don't come in with anything, there's a whole couple tables worth of just, hey, take this record. You don't have to give us anything. So we definitely want to get people, even if like maybe they've never had a vinyl before and they're thinking about it, but they don't want to have to spend the time on getting a collection, they can start it here. I think I'm ready to dance now. Make sure to check in with WXOU on their website, WXOU.org, for their next awesome event. Next up is the Meet the Greeks event, also held during Welcome Week. OU's fraternities gathered to showcase their organizations and try to gain some new brothers. Let's check it out. So currently we're at the Meet the Greeks event. So what we're doing here, we're just passing out free ice cream today. We're trying to get people to know a little bit more about the Greek organizations on campus. Um, so basically this is for fraternities only. That's what IFC kind of does. We watch over all the fraternities, make sure everybody's kind of moving in the right direction. Um, so this event's just kind of promoting them. How you join, a lot of times at this time of year we have rush weeks. So each chapter has their own events and you can find these events on the school calendar. Um, also, just walking through the Open Center, they'll be tabling. Each chapter will be tabling. You can find out what their events are, and then you can kind of go from there to see which one you like. You know, go to all of them. I recommend go to every single one, every single chapter. Get to know all the chapters. You know, they all have different events, which is kind of cool. You kind of get a feel for what the personality of each one is, and kind of find the right fit for you. You know, there's five fraternities and five sororities on campus that are social. Um, so it's kind of, it's a very tight-knit community on campus, which is nice. When you join a fraternity here, you have a, you have kind of a sense of community when you come to school. You get help with classes, you know, tutors, you get connections for jobs. It's a really nice thing to get involved with, because it's really, from this school, it is a large school, but a lot of people commute. So when you come here, you kind of have that nice community feeling, and you just, you know, it really helps you excel in school. I joined uh, Oakland Greek Life last year. Uh, I was a freshman, a transfer student. I really didn't have anything else to do. I was just commuting from class to class. I wasn't staying on campus. I wasn't involved in anything. And then I joined Greek Life and I've been involved ever since. I joined Greek Life because I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to do something on this campus. I wanted to have an impact because I wasn't doing anything last year and now I have the opportunity to do something for at least the Oakland community and the Greek community. If I didn't join Greek life, I don't think I would have become the person who I am today. Go, go Greek! Want to go Greek? Make sure to visit oakland.edu slash go Greek for more information on OU's Greek life. This year marks the 14th anniversary of the tragic events of 9-11. Let's see how OU remembered those we lost on that fateful day.
OU as a whole will never forget. Stay tuned for more Out and About after these messages. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among college students in the United States. <coughs> Suicide is not the answer. Reach out and grasp. For more information, visit oakland.edu slash grasp. Don't let salmonella get funky with your chicken. On average, one in six Americans will get a foodborne illness this year. So learn the right temperature to cook each type of meat. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back to Out and About. I'm your host, Caitlin Massey. Let's get back to the show. As we near the end of our show, we're going to take a look at the first student program board hump day of the semester. Let's see how SPB kicked off the beginning of its hump day season. Right now we're in the Fireside Lounge, which um, we're hosting the hump day event. So this event is a series event that happens about once a month, and um, we're celebrating the upcoming fall carnival for Welcome Week at this hump day. 
Hump Day's got a saying from the uh, Hump Day commercials and the, just like the idea that the middle of the week is your hump day, you're getting over the hump to get the rest of it. So they wanted to create a Wednesday event where students can kind of relax and get halfway through the week and kind of have a high in the middle of the week to get into the weekend. For this event, there were yard games, including ladder golf, ring toss, and lucky rubber ducky, and also stuffed animals for prizes. My favorite part of this event is definitely the music. It makes this place come alive after um, it being gone for so long, um, kind of quiet after the summer semester. The first hump day event also featured a hot dog eating contest. The first person to eat six hot dogs won a $20 cash prize. passing by and I know some people involved and so I stopped to say hi and then I stayed to see what was going on. Hump Day occurs once per month on Wednesdays. For more information about Hump Day and upcoming events, visit the Student Program Board office downstairs, room 64 in the Oakland Center or our website at oakland.edu slash spb. Well, looks like everyone had a happy Hump Day. Make sure you check out SPB on OU's website to find out when the next Hump Day is being held. Don't miss out! Last on our show today is a dorm room burn demonstration. Local fire departments came to OU to demonstrate just how fast fire can spread and how dangerous it can be in dorm rooms. Let's see what went down. What we did today is we, we built two identical dorm rooms. We put a desk, uh, uh, beds in there, some hangings on the wall, the laptops, um, some homework, that type of stuff, and then they were ignited at the same time. One of them has a residential fire sprinkler in it, the other did not. So what we demonstrated to our audience is how quickly a room's gonna burn up. The things that we wanted them to take away from this was that if, if they are encountered or if they do hear the smoke alarm beeping, just how quickly they need to get out, because they don't have a lot of time. It's just showing how you need to act if there's a fire because it's not a joke, it's not to be messed with. Just take it seriously. I didn't know how fast the fire would spread. Because like in movies it takes a minute and then like everybody gets out safe. But it doesn't really seem like you have that big of a chance if you mess with the sprinklers or take a nap instead of going down on the drills. The turnout I thought was really exciting. Um, you know, it's middle of Wednesday, but I mean, it was students, faculty, staff, a little combination of everybody um, to support this particular event. But I, I mean, it was really eye opening and it was very visual, and the turnout was really phenomenal, I think. Um, and it's just nice because we're in the middle of the second week of Welcome Week and to have that kind of response. Um, it's just very encouraging and there's still more to come. Whew, I'm burning up in here. What a great way to remind college dormers of how dangerous fire is. Before we leave, let's take a look at some of the cool events happening in the month of October that you don't want to miss.
That's all the time that we have today. Make sure to check in with oakland.edu slash CSA for updates on more fun and educational events happening at OU. This has been the first ever episode of Out and About. I'm your host, Caitlin Massey. Thanks for watching and see you next time, OU.